Welcome, I'm Mario, Slavs Make Games, Godot tutorial series, first part. What will you learn? You learn about project, scene, nodes, about GD script and Godot environment. New project creation. After opening Godot Game Engine for the first time, click Cancel in dialog box and click once on the New Project button. In the second dialog, you need to enter name for your project and to create project in a new blank folder. After that you can select OpenGL 3.0 or 2.0 for web project and click create an edit. Now we will uh, create uh, 2D space, uh, which is uh, 2D node. When you press on 2D space button, button you will create this node. You can uh, click and rename it. Uh, we will uh, set name world. And after that, with the middle mouse button pressed, we can set the space and zoom it with the mouse wheel. Now we will uh, create some object with uh, drag and drop technique. So from your uh, file system resource just pick object and drag and drop it inside uh, to the workspace. To show a grid click on a view and select show grid and for configuration of a grid uh, click on uh, configurate uh, snap and set 32 by 32 pixel click uh, close after it and for uh, snapping uh, just click on uh, snap icon above to start the game uh, you can uh, use f5 uh, function key or just uh, click on uh, start uh, button for uh, starting game. For uh, saving uh, scene you can use scene, drop down menu GD script uh, can be attached with a simple click on attach new or existing script. And after that uh, you will have uh, attach now dialog where you pick a language for a script. 
and with a click on create you will get some default script or gray text are comments and uh, we have uh, one function and one extends of our node first we will learn simple command print with one string and we can try to see result of this print in output window so after creating a scene we will see window and then output window with our word hello world in our script very simple if you use uh, function ready now we will a little bit uh, talk in this introduction about a variable first we will set a variable uh, a which will be integer and print it with the print command if you use string variable like variable b you need uh, to put it under quotation mark when you declare it and printing is the same so just uh, enter variable name inside brackets in output window we can see result of uh, our uh, print command If we set two integer variables, we can do some simple math. And it is important to know that for result we must also declare variable. So every variable use must be firstly declared. Now we have a tree integer declared. We can make uh, some mathematical operation like adding two variables. In our cases, uh, this will be two simple uh, integer, and we can see result uh, in output window. With use of our print command. If we want to put uh, text to see with the print command, the text must be in quotation mark, like we do with uh, variables. If we want to connect two parts of text, we use plus between it. You cannot uh, print uh, variables and uh, strings together but uh, with the use of str command you can uh, change integer into printing string and then uh, you can uh, print it on the screen so in our example uh, we see that uh, we need to use uh, str command to print integer uh, together with a string the same is if you use uh, declared variables or if you print text inside quotation mark with a print command uh, if you use uh, multiple uh, variables or text uh, just don't forget to put a plus between the parts and every integer must be inside str command so just use str uh, and uh, variable inside brackets using string uh, is uh, 
easy but declaration is uh, important so every time inside quotation mark for a string and without quotation mark for integer so we will see in output window our combinations of uh, integer strings and adding there is uh, one other function added uh, here predefined function uh, this uh, function we can speak about it later but uh, for now it's important to know that uh, this process function are repeated every frame so repeated uh, once uh, every frame So we are continuing speaking about uh, GD script. We will use a process function. Uh, first, uh, we will see how process function is called every frame. Just put print command and under quotation mark you can enter some text. We will use uh, str command also just to repeat something from a previous uh, learning part pass command is used to cover function without code now we see that process is uh, repeated so in output window we will see repeated string pass command no longer needed because we have code one line of code here are function and we can try to use this uh, process which is repeated every frame uh, to change some uh, values and to change position uh, of object all uh, game codes use uh, this uh, process function process for um, coding uh, main uh, or um, uh, other uh, game characters for now we'll learn uh, some other variable uh, this will be vector variable vector 2 variable are uh, vectors for two dimensional space so they have two parameters vertical and horizontal first parameter is horizontal second parameter is vertical and we will also use get node command uh, which simply get the node we will pick a root node we can write its name or just put one dot inside quotation mark and our variable hero will uh, get uh, all uh, properties of uh, this node so we introducing a command translate uh, for uh, translation of uh, object and uh, it's important to know that translate uh, work uh, with vector variable 
so function process is repeating and uh, our uh, hero use uh, translation in place uh, our position are zero zero which mean the object is standing in place without any uh, translation and uh, if we set some part place.x we will see that translation is happening and now we can continue uh, try to implement this code and firstly to see what is going on with this um, horizontal parameter of uh, place uh, vector variable we can see this in output window so in output window we will see some data uh, which can be set as um, or defined as a speed and we will see that this variable is increased over process delta time so we can uh, use some other command uh, if to check uh, if variable is lower than something and if it is our uh, translation will be happen so let's see what's going on in this situation uh, if we use this command our translation will work uh, till stop because there is no translation pass this if command can be useful in uh, games also but this is just example to learn uh, coding to learn a simple coding in uh, GD script we will save a scene it is good to save your scene usually Now we will continue coding. We have some prepared script. So you can uh, just uh, write it <coughs> <coughs> in a place where you have uh, previously written script. In uh, this script we will have uh, one vector, translate command and input command as you see input command will uh, give us some visible output this input command is uh, good when you want interaction with uh, keyboard we'll uh, duplicate code uh, just to uh, use uh, moving to other side so we will have uh, right and left input is used with is action pressed this is one of uh, variant so now we will have uh, translation to left and translation to right it will be good to put some uh, print output to see what is uh, happening uh, with our uh, translation just to have uh, some smooth movement as I said before this is just example script to introduce input and to see what can be done with it 
they are usually used uh, as uh, keyboard commands for games uh, for movement uh, jumping or some action like activating energetic field so we will uh, give uh, the script another function and it is good uh, to have a function if you have um, repeated commands more than one of course so if you have two or three repeated commands make function uh, with uh, all of it and call it from a code with a name of function and uh, use uh, brackets after the function so declaring a function is the same uh, and the calling is with the function name and brackets after we are just uh, simplifying our code code and uh, with uh, this uh, function uh, process uh, input command is action pressed and translate we now have uh, some uh, interesting uh, movement in a screen we also use uh, output window output window will give us translation values and we will see what is happening uh, with the translation this code uh, can be more improved uh, but uh, I don't want to make uh, things complicated and this is uh, only to see that if command can be nested and that if command uh, can be used in one line also so if you you can put if command and nest another if command inside it as you see in example but also you can put if command in one line uh, with uh, connection of if parameters and parameter is uh, if you have two command similar and uh, must uh, be truthful or is uh, when uh, you have choice one or other but we will talk about this later for now it's good to know that if command can be nested and to see how we have uh, our uh, movement with stopping in one another side so this looks like some uh, object which can be moved stopped like uh, main character in a game as I said before we can put if command in one line and uh, after uh, testing uh, some uh, other values for uh, translation and movement we will put it in one line so uh, we will um, make if uh, with two parameter this interesting our object uh, have uh, time of stopping time of movement in one side time of stopping and time of movement to other side
Now we will uh, talk about uh, Godot environment. About some uh, uh, simple things uh, which can be used uh, for setting your uh, workspace. First, uh, we can uh, arrange uh, our uh, workable windows. Uh, it is important to know that every inside uh, box or inside uh, window is for one line of windows. For one line. And outside is for two lines. So if you want to have two lines of workable windows you will click to outside if you have click on inside window you will have one line of workable windows file system window can be also split in two and all clicks to lower uh, part of dockable windows will put a workable window down this is uh, good to know for arrangement also windows can be drag and drop it to change size to change sides so one will be left another will be right project settings under the scene is place where you can set, uh, set everything about uh, your project for example uh, windows resolution it is good to see uh, what uh, options you have under the project settings I will cover only few of them like um, auto load card where you can set uh, GD code so if you pre-write some GD code in AutoLoad, this GD code will be part of all GD codes, codes, which is useful for score. We will cover all of it later. Setting language is in editor setting. So in editor setting, under the interface editor, you can uh, change language. Under the theme, you can uh, change main theme uh, so styles of your uh, workspace and entire editor this is a few important things uh, to know in the beginning but uh, we will cover uh, many other things um, later in a game so remember under the project menu you have project settings and uh, you have also resource explorer to see all of your resources um, uh, under your project uh, sometimes uh, there will be uh, lots of resources and uh, folder resources uh, project data folder is a place where um, your files are set and important thing in main menu is help uh, help uh, can be used um, inside Godot and you can use outside help uh, and online documentation with control key pressed you uh, can um, select any class any properties or methods inside your code and you will um, get some uh, help uh, explanation of uh, using so remember press control and click um, command uh, 
which will be underlined. You can also use um, help uh, if you know um, comment, but uh, for um, first uh, using of help in our cases when we introduced command after command you can just uh, select it. Under the file uh, main menu you have uh, a new script and a save of script in the inside and uh, uh, of the scene outside the window is new scene so you have a few windows uh, which are nested one inside the other And this is um, all important things uh, for, for you to know in the beginning of working. Setting of uh, Windows, setting of uh, Editor and Project Settings uh, is uh, really enough. Thank you. Thank you for watching and uh, subscribe to YouTube channel uh, World of Games when we make uh, many reviews and uh, tutorials. See you in a part two.